Hello all and welcome to the session. Today the question is there are three containers of equal capacity. The ratio of milk to water in first container is 2 is to 1, in second container is 5 is to 1 and in third container is 7 is to 4. If all are mixed up, what will be the ratio of milk to water in the mixture? And now we will start with the solution. Now in the first container it is given that the ratio of milk to water is equal to 2 is to 1 which means 3 parts contains 2 parts of milk. This implies Milk is 2 by 3 part of the whole. And now in the second container, the ratio of milk to water is given as 5 is to 1 which means 6 parts contains 5 parts of milk. This implies milk is 5 or 6 parts of the whole. And now in the third container The ratio of milk to water is given as 7 is to 4 which means 11 parts contains 7 parts of milk. This implies milk is 7 by 11 part of the whole. Now the total quantity of milk in the three containers is equal to milk in the first container which is 2 by 3 plus milk in the second container which is 5 by 6 plus milk in the third container which is 7 by 11. Now taking the LCM which is equal to 66 it will become here 3 into 22 is equal to 66 and 22 into 2 is 44 plus 6 into 11 is 66 and 11 into 5 is 55 plus 11 into 6 is 66 and 6 into 7 is 42. Adding on, this will be equal to 141 over 66. Now, 3 into 22 is 66 and 3 into 47 is 141. So, it will be equal to 47 over 22 parts. And now, the total quantity of water in three containers is equal to 3 minus the quantity of milk in the three containers which is 47 over 22. Taking the LCM, it will be equal to 66 minus 47 over 22 which will be equal to 19 over 22 parts. Therefore, the ratio of milk to water in the mixture is equal to 
total quantity of milk in the mixture over total quantity of water in the mixture which is equal to total quantity of milk in the mixture that is 47 over 22 is to 19 over 22 which is the total quantity of water in the mixture so this will be equal to 47 is to 19 therefore the ratio of milk to water in the mixture is equal to 47 is to 19. So this is the solution of this question. That's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.